What is up, players? Welcome back to the program. It's MJ. I'm reacting to Junk Food by The Odd Ones Out. Um, this is another video that you guys requested as well. So this is two in one day. So, but I like them, so I was definitely excited to do them again. Anyway, I need all the laughs that I can get today because I'm just in a very somber mood. So if you guys are ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. Today's video was sponsored by Carrots. <laughs> what? We're actually all right if you put other stuff on us. Okay. I would consider my parents health nuts more like health kernels. They would never buy unhealthy snacks, but they wouldn't force me and my siblings to go outside and play because it was always burning hot. Got and you just lick the melted candy off the sidewalk anyways. They would never buy sugary cereal. The most sugary cereal my parents got was Honey Nut Cheerios. But my mom would mix the Honey Nut Cheerios with regular ones to make it more healthy or something. So I would start my day spending 15 minutes picking out the regular Cheerios from the cereal bowl. Mm -mm. That's right, my parents didn't buy us cable, Cocoa Puffs, or candy. Wow. My life sucked. We were allowed to eat sugary cereal for one day out of the year. And no. And that was on Christmas morning. I was just going to say Christmas, wow, like it's a, like it's a um, reward. Yo, it's a celebration, it's a special occasion, I can't and we still do it to this day. As a kid, I would always get jealous when my friends would pull out their Lunchables and tell me how much their family ate out and all the sugary cereals they got to eat. Mm. Meanwhile, I had a PB&J sandwich on wheat bread with the crust still on, but it's okay because I like the crust. But me now too. looking back, I'm just so grateful that my mom cared enough about my health to instill these healthy eating mm -hmm. habits in me at a young age. Yeah. I mean, I don't follow them anymore because I live on my own and I don't know how to cook and bagel bites taste so darn good. But I'm bagel still thankful my mom told me oh what God. I should be doing. Now, if there's any parents watching this going, hmm, I like the way this James's mom character thinks. Good. How are they going to know that your, your name is James? You should be teaching your kids healthy eating habits as soon as possible. I definitely didn't appreciate it at the time, but now that I'm older and wiser, I'm thankful that I like the taste of wheat bread. Good My parents poops. had a saying. The wider the bread, the sooner you're dead. They would always get wheat bread. Even for hot dog and hamburger buns, they got wheat. Some of you might have had to use sandwich bread as hot dog buns. You're poor. I get it. But at least you didn't have to use wheat bread. <laughs> However, now that I'm bread, I still get the wheat bread because I don't... Wheat bread tastes better to me. YouTube videos to make. Low Some key. things never change, I guess. Except I do get the white hot dog buns. The wheat ones are still gross. When I was a very little kid, my dad was throwing a barbecue get-together thing, and I got to eat as many hot dogs on white bread as I could handle. But the best part of it all was I got to wash it down with soda. <laughs> Sugar-deprived back home. Mm -hmm. I had to catch up on all the sugar I was Do you know what? He says the humor it just is like a comedy style. It reminds me a lot of Frank... Um, I can't think of his Frank Murphy from um, F is for Family, which is, I guess, a.k.a. Bill Burr. I don't remember what the soda was exactly, but let's just say for the sake of this story, it was an original bottle of Coke from the 80s. Yes, it might gotta love Coca-Cola. Because I was addicted to all the white powdery stuff they added into that drink. Pretty soon, <laughs> my tummy started to get the rumblies, and I had no idea what was causing it. So I told my dad, Dad, my tummy hurts. Oh. And he said, hmm. It's probably because you're dehydrated. Here, have some soda. And I still respected my dad at that age and thought he knew what he was talking about, so I drank more soda. And then I threw up and my dad said, we should leave. I mentioned this next story in my first book, available in bookstores near you. Be on the lookout for book number two, coming out at the end of March. But one time I- Oh my God, did he really write a book? How cool is this guy? Who are you? I want to meet him. Giant three pound bag of Skittles. I forgot what she bought them for, but they definitely weren't for us. She locked them away in a closet because she knew what us kids would do. Capable with of, yes. On the uh -huh. This wasn't the first time my mom had to hide candy from us, but this in time the plant, she had to lock the closet, leaving the Skittles unprotected. Ooh. And me and my older brother ate the entire thing. I and can't. we would have gotten away with it, Ooh, it's good but then something came up. Puke. I threw up on the family room carpet. My mom saw how rainbow the throw up was Ooh. and immediately put two and two together and knew that we had gotten into her skittles. The funny part of this story is that my older brother got punished, but I didn't. Oh yes, I know that life. Being the youngest is the coolest thing ever because I never got into trouble. My siblings were always in trouble, but I, I never had got into already trouble. suffered enough. And that's why that story is in the chapter titled Perks of Being the Younger Brother. Yes, Anyways, I know that life. so much candy that you throw up. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about M&Ms for a while, so to make it go faster, instead of saying M&Ms, I'm just gonna say, mm. In one of my older <laughs> videos, I said that my favorite candy bar was mm, and every time I would tell people that, they would always say, that's not a candy bar. <gasps> well, it's not, it's not a bar, but it is chocolate. I can't do this anymore. 
But then something interesting happened. A year after that video was posted, Mmm actually released a bar. Yes, they candy. did though. So now I can absolutely say that mm, it is my a candy, bar. candy bar and not get any weird looks. Someone at the <gasps> marketing team sent me a box of mm, candy bars. Did they? I think they wanted me to promote it, but yes. Definitely. Because I said that mmm's are my favorite candy bar. Whenever I go to a convention, sometimes you guys bring me mmm candy, Aww, which is very helpful. Cute. But you know, I like other things too, like Oreos and Twix and money. You no, should have said that. You have to bring me mmm all the time. When I was visiting London, it's I went to the store with my friends Adam and Mads. And if you don't know about the mmm London store, <laughs> it's four cute. stories tall, thirty-five thousand square what? feet. What? According to Wikipedia. Is it the really? largest sweet store in the world. Yeah, I can imagine. It was kind of big. Once I stepped inside, my first thought was, okay, this is too much. Too much, like definitely. It was like scene in Willy Wonka, except it was all chocolate and expensive. Mm -hmm. In one part of the store, you can make your own custom mmms with a picture and two phrases. So for too the picture, much. I pulled my cartoon self, held up my phone to the camera, and it bloody worked, right? And for the phrases, I wanted mate. to write something that was meaningful, so we wrote, Mad Stinks and Adam Smells. But the mm employee didn't allow us to write that because it was too negative and went oh, against the God. mm brand. So knowing we were not allowed to roast each other, the next phrases we decided to print was get mads and something else YT. It wasn't creative, but without being able to make fun of each other, we didn't have a lot to work with. Right. But those phrases weren't allowed either because what? they were made to some YouTubers, so they got flagged by the system and they told us, you'll need permission from the YouTuber even though you're both right here. Listen, boys, I'm just a mm employee. I don't want to get sued. Okay. On one hand, I'm glad that mm has a system in place to prevent people from stealing. But on the other hand, it's just mmms. What do you think we're going to do with that? Right. So after two failed attempts at getting the phrase we wanted, we settled on getting Adam and Mads. <gasps> At least I still got my Cannonball Guy printed. Oh, that's Even cool. So, look, he kept it. is copyrighted, so... Mm, you'll be hearing from my lawyers soon. One of the disadvantages of being a YouTuber is the lack of benefits. We don't even have dental. You're not lying. The These eating, teeth? The flossing I'm not doing. I should probably see one. Can I confess something? I didn't know dentists were optional. I thought they summoned you to their offices like jury duty. Yo, I'm like weak. When I was a kid. I've never gotten a cavity though. At least not one that I know of. What? So I've, I've had several. I eat too much now candy. the part of the video where I give you advice on eating healthy. But I'm still working on that myself. Clearly. And when I don't know what to eat, I can't help but biting down on a delicious carrot. Carrots are the most popular vegetable in the world. So this is literally when he said carrots, sponsored by carrots in the beginning, he wasn't kidding. He's really about to tell us about this carrots, though. I can't. Nominated as the best orange thing ever. Use code <laughs> odd one next time you purchase a carrot to get 5,000 free carrot points and a bunch of weird looks at the grocery <gasps> store. He's Give crazy. I can't. You can pour soda in a car engine and expect it to run. Of course, that's not really the best metaphor to use because you also wouldn't pour water into a car and expect mm. it to run. I guess everyone drink gasoline because cars and people are the same. But the point is, wow. you've only got one body. So you should take care of it. Well, fair. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the first video of 2020. Was this really the first video? Yay! I mean, so that, I mean, it looks like it, it would take him a long time to make it if we're being honest. But like, wow, dang. Well, when's the last video come out? Because it's already the 26th, right? So I'm thinking like, dang, how long does it take you? Must be nice to just like chill out the first 25 days. But hey, he has 13.7 million subscribers, okay? I'd be chilling too if I had that, the luxury of that you know just to kind of get himself uh, up and going but also like i said based on these um uh, the 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 um edits and stuff it really looks like it's kind of like swoozy swoozy is one of my favorite youtubers right? oh it used to be anyway and he does very similar you know setup as well and i know that it does take a long time so you can't really just re release videos back to back to back when you're doing that Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed it because you requested it. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you like for me to react to. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely join the family with the dopest alive. But before you make a request, make sure you check out the reaction playlist and check on the other videos that I have reacted to. That way you don't make duplicate requests. And uh, yeah, we're having lots of fun in the playground. I'll see you guys when you're not. Bye. Mwah.